Hello everybody and welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Wine 101. Um, where I do, of course, wine reviews on Wednesday and Saturday. Coffee reviews on Sunday. Don't miss them. Now, I've been sipping this a little bit. I actually did a review on it and screwed it up. Yeah, I screwed it up. So I have to reshoot it now. So let's start over again. This is going to be, what I'm doing is a series for fall and for uh, October and for Halloween of great wines and beers to bring to parties or if you're having a party or if you just want to enjoy it, all right, Halloween themed. A lot of my beers are pumpkin, right? I'm comparing, trying to find a good pumpkin beer and a lot of my wines are for the Halloween uh, theme and it's cool. So today we're going to do one from France, a red blend from France. This is a limited edition, uh, 2015, it's called Hobnob. All right, there it is. And it is a Wicked Red Blend, all right? And look at the cool label. Look at the, look at the uh, skeletons on there. Look what they're doing. All right, you got them drinking, you got them toasting, you got them playing the fiddle, right? Got them doing all kinds of things. And so that is gonna make your Halloween. That alone makes this cool for the season. Now, 13.5% uh, ABV. And I got this for $6.29, $6.29. You may find it for $9.99, that's awful cheap. I found it on sale, I got a discount on top of that. Um, $6.29, unless, uh, you know, this would have to taste like mud for me not to think, because of the bargain and the cool bottle. If it tastes like anything, it's a winner. So, um, like I said, I've already had some, so let's uh, pour it in there. It's a, a nice garnet color, all right? Had a screw cap, all right, screw cap, so you don't need anything, you bring it to the party real nice. Don't need any uh, special kind of opener. Mmm. Let me tell you what this smells like. This smells like candy apple. You ever have the candy apple that's dipped in like the red, that, that hard shell candy apple? That's what this smells like. With a, uh, with a hint of cherry. Uh, that's the initial smell I get when I smell this wine. Candy apple with a hint of cherry. Uh, so, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a pleasant smell. <laughs> I mean, that's just... Yeah, and I think you're going to smell that too. I do, I do. This has a little bit of tannin. A little bit of that dry your mouth out feeling. A little bit. That's what you first get. Then it goes back. And what do you get? I get the candy apple. I get cherry. I get a, a where I could see where somebody would say this tastes like a um, a really ripe plum. But not the yellow plum. The purple on the inside where the fruit's like a red color. And really ripe. It's so sweet. That, if you know what that plum tastes like. Not the yellow plum. The kind of the reddish plum uh, that's real ripe this is what this tastes like um, even to the point to where when you first bite it in the skin's just a hair sour followed by that delicious um, sweetness uh, there's no sugar added to this but it's so fruit forward that it appears to be sweeter than it is um, this would be a winner at a party because you don't need any food with it now they recommend that this food this is what I call their recommendation for this all right the people who make this one is barbecue soft cheeses, and uh, chocolate. All things you'd have at a party, but I call this a pizza wine. And what I mean by pizza wine is, it'll go with pizza, it'll go with hamburgers, hot dogs, fun food, chicken wings, they have barbecue. It'll go with stuff like that, nice fun fare. Uh, this one, I can tell you right now, will go by itself, okay? This will go by itself because it's, it's, it's fruity and it's easy to drink. Um, so there you go, it's a winner because of the price and because of the bottle, because of the marketing. You get a nice French wine here. And for the, for the, the year, or not the year, the, the time of year, for, for uh, Halloween, this baby here is, is something nice to bring or to serve. I mean, you give this to a guest, you know, with that cool, uh, and this label's, it's not like paper labels, it's, it's uh, however it's painted on or not painted on, but... Whatever, it's, it's infused on there. Uh, so I like it. Uh, you bring it over to, maybe they're not big wine drinkers, they don't have a, a, a corkscrew or whatever, you, you can just, right, pop it. Um, it's got a screw cap, 
and I think uh, I think people would enjoy this. If you really like wine and you like wines, you can enjoy this. I'm enjoying it. Um, but if you're not a big wine drinker, you're not into the real sophisticated wine, so to speak, you just want a fun, friendly wine, then you're going to hit the people here as well. So, um, very good, very nice. Look for this. Drink it. Watch the review again. See if you if you if you taste and smell the candy apple, the uh, or you uh, a nice ripe plum, uh, maybe cherries. You might taste some blackberries or raspberries. Everybody's tastes a little different. You're gonna taste fruit, that's for sure. Um, and I think you're gonna like it. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Hobnob Wicked Red Blend Limited Edition. Can't go wrong with it. And even if you pay nine ninety nine, I don't think that's paying too much. And you may get it even cheaper than that. So. From Hillbilly Wine 101, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're watching my wine reviews. I hope you're watching my um, my coffee reviews. And have a wonderful uh, holiday, everybody. Cheers.